Hi, my name is Danielle Jones and I'm a Museum Supervisor at Aberdeen Archives, Gallery and Museums. A period of history that has always particularly interested me is the Scottish Enlightenment, which began in the mid-18th century and continued for the best part of the century. It marked a paradigm shift from religion into reason and was characterised by an outpouring of intellectual and scientific accomplishments. This extraordinary flowering of rational thinking and scientific endeavour centred on libraries, salons and universities. It was Scotland's proud boast that it powered Scottish Enlightenment with its five universities, two of which were located here in this very city, King's College and Marshall College. But what about this cabinet room? George Keith was a local advocate in Aberdeen who lived in this building during the time of Scottish Enlightenment. At some point between 1732 and 1738, he commissioned the decorative painted panels which you can see in the small cabinet room. The wall panels are painted to represent marbling or rocky cliff edges. If you look closely at the lower sections or the edges of the panels, you can see tiny classical figures reclining in an exquisitely painted landscape. Whilst we are unsure who officially painted this space, the work may have been carried out by John Norrie, who came from a family of renowned Edinburgh painters and who spent some time in Aberdeen. One thing is for sure, every time your eyes scan this room you will find something new and interesting. I strongly recommend visiting Provost Skeen's house and checking it out for yourselves. Who knows what you'll find?